ABC, happy Saturday evening. Crazy Jimmy here with you with a video featuring some more Americana slash early 70s country rock, late 60s, early 70s country rock slash Americana. That's kind of what I call it, or cosmic country, whatever you want to call it. Um, all three of those kind of rolled into one. So I've got a bunch of records here. I just wanted to show you in that genre that I'm not sure you've heard of. Uh, some of you probably have, some of you haven't. Some of these might be new to you and interest you to, you know, check them out, check out some of the snippets. Uh, I did provide a couple songs from this gem. The band is Morning. And this is their self-titled debut on Vault Records. And just absolutely, you take a look at the cover. The music sounds like the cover. I mean, it's just incredible. I played two tracks off of this to lead off this video. And uh, where are they here? Let me get the titles for you. I might not have, the, oh, here they are get the titles for you off of the actual record here's the label which you saw spinning on vault pretty cool label so track number one you heard was easy keeper and then track number two is sleepy eyes off of side one uh this was released i want to say in 1970 or 71 so really um killer early 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 70s like i call it kind of a combination of psych country rock country psych cosmic country and pop or rock pop rock with tons of harmonies as you can see there that second song sleepy eyes kind of sounded like because in Sun King by the Beatles kind of rolled up in one just stunning stunning music uh, on this so if you haven't heard of morning there's actually two by this band I'm going to show you the second one as well they're both equally as good I happen to like the debut a little more than their second one but the second one is called morning uh, struck like silver right there and their second one is on Fantasy Records. So same label that you find uh, Credence Clearwater, bands like that. Uh, again, though, this is, you know, harmony-soaked, country-ish, um, Americana, cosmic country. Just tons of harmonies, though. Tons of harmonies. So I love a lot of, like, three- and four-part harmonies with my with my Americana, so there's no shortage of that on either album from Morning. This one here, um, Struck Like Silver, is from 72, and their debut is from 71. So definitely check out the band Morning if you love a combination of like the Beatles and the Cosmic Country sounds of like so some of the some of the stuff the pretty things were doing that were kind of countryish, really really killer stuff. All right, um, next up, this is a recommended if you like um, the band. So this is Blue Jug. This is their first album, self-titled on Capricorn Records, and you kind of see there they're kind of hanging out in the woods. Definitely your your everyday your everyday type of man here. <laughs> I mean, look at these guys. 
pretty cool. They got their little, looks like a German Shepherd in there, a Husky actually, a Husky. Uh, but this is uh, on Capricorn Records, a promo on Capricorn, not a white label. They didn't do white labels for this um, particular one, for this particular label. But nonetheless, uh, if you like the band, you will love Blue Jug. I mean, the vocals are um, spot on for like Robbie Robertson. So, and the music is very band-like. That Americana kind of, just what it says, blue jug. <laughs> Some banjo in there. But really cool. Pop this back in. Got a few more here to show you. But yeah, if you like the band, uh, check out Blue Jug. There's a couple, they have a couple albums. They have this one here, which is, um, I want to say this was 1972. And then they have one from like 73, right after it. Uh, next, I wanted to show the Everly Brothers, Roots. Now, a lot of people, um, they think of the Everly Brothers as just uh, this folk duo. But they were so much more than that uh, in the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Like this one here is from 1968. This is like a very early country rock, country folk album from the Everly Brothers. So it's called Roots. But... I highly, highly, highly recommend getting this if you're into like country rock, country folk. It's on the uh, Seven Arts label. So can't go wrong with the sound quality on these. Pretty damn good. But yeah, if you like um, if you like your, your country on the folkier side, then this is going to hit the spot. And of course, the, the patented Everly Brothers harmonies are all present on this one. 1968 there. Uh, next up, we've got Bernie Schwartz, The Wheel. This is a favorite of mine. This is like in my top 500 all time. So you're probably wondering, well, who the hell is that? <laughs> well, this is Bernie Schwartz. This is really, really, really unique. Uh, Tons of variety on this, a lot of repay, a, a lot of replay value on this album. It's on uh, Cobert Records. I really love the label on these. It's got like a little sun in the bottom, but really cool label. I want to say this was 1970. Let me see. Another early, early 70s. I want to say 70 or 71. Uh, don't see the date on the back here, but, um, Bernie Schwartz, the wheel. You definitely want to check this one out. Um, uh, just a phenomenal, uh, country rock album, but again, it's got so much variety on it. It's got some psych, some acid psych on, uh, acid country, acid folk, got some really good wiry guitar solos, just uh, a killer, killer album by Bernie Schwartz. Uh, next up is Mad River Paradise Bar and Grill. Now, some of you psych heads who really love like psych probably rant and rave about their self-titled debut from 68, which is this one. But let me tell you, um, I like them equally as good. This, they're on Capitol Records. You got your green bullseye and your rainbow. But the original from 68 is not really... It, there's really nothing country about it. It's straight up psych. Um, that's really off kilter and dissonant. Just nothing like... I bet you this must have really blown some people away in 1968. I'll tell you that. Uh, just really searing guitar. Kind of mathy. Like, like the early beginning of math rock. It's just crazy, uh, but my my understanding is is the the tape heads were sped up on this, so probably gives it that mathy kind of sound because it is sped up a little. But I love the original. Their second album in 1960, I want to say this was 69, is Paradise Bar and Grill, and I actually like this one just as much. This one is actually 
has some of the craziness the first one had, but this one throws in a country flavor, like that that on the porch banjo country flavor. But it's not what you think. It's not like bluegrass. It's it's really cool. It's mixed with it's like psych acid psych acid country cosmic country kind of all rolled into one. So definitely check out both of Mad Rivers, but that Paradise Bar and Grill is the one uh, that is most country. And um, the lead singer here, Hammonds, put out, um, I didn't pull it, but I'll, I'll pull it, I'll show you guys another time, but he had a solo album uh, called Coyote Something. I forgot the full name, but it was from 1976, and it's, it's very good as well. So the lead singer of Mad River. All right, got a few more here. Here's one you probably haven't heard. Uncle Jim's Music, right there. And this is a self-titled release and it's on Cap Records, right there. And again, I wanna say this was like 1969 for this one. Let me double check, but this is Again, very harmony soaked country rock. So if you like uh, Americana and early 70s country rock, 1971. So I think I nailed it. But you can see here you got you got your your fiddle, you got your banjo and your acoustic guitar, um, and really the vocals are great. Uh, good some good harmonies, good melodies here. So what I'm showing you here is all great. Like, if you like Flying Burrito Brothers and, and the Bird Sweetheart of the Rodeo, like those reference points, you're going to love this stuff. Um, I'm, I don't remember if I showed this one, but I'm going to show it again. If I did, I, I apologize. But this is Morning Glory growing. And this is more of a line of like Grateful Dead. So if you like... Um, Grateful Dead, early 70s Grateful Dead, the Americana they were pumping out on like uh, American Beauty. You will love what's on this here. And I love the label. It's on the it's on this uh, label is this. Tova Records. And I love the cover too. Pretty cool cover. All right, next up, uh, Batdorf and Rodney. And you're, you guys are probably like, wait a minute. I've seen that in the dollar bin. You probably have. <laughs> but you should be buying it. You should be pulling it out of the dollar bin. This is a great, great, harmony-soaked, cosmic country rock album. Really good. A little more on the poppy side, but um, kind of reminds me of like James Taylor and the Eagles. And then, but it has a little bit of a harder edge. It's not, it's not really light fair like, like um, James Taylor, it's harder than that. But I mean, you're missing out if you don't pick up these. Um, there's three of them actually. Bat, Batdorf and Rodney, the first three. This is um, this one I think is from '72, and then they had one from '76 that was fantastic, and also their their debut, which was really good, from '71. Couple more for you. The next one, Holy the Holy Modal Rounders, and this is actually their their country album, and you can tell just by I mean check check that out. Love the cover on this. Kind of has some glare, and it's on Metro Media Records. Pretty cool label. Now this artwork was done by Michael Hurley who you can see Armchair Boogie up there, Michael Hurley, really cool, like, freak folk artist. Well, he also play, he also sings and plays on this on a few tracks, and he did the artwork. And you can see the artwork is very similar. Great artist. So, but this is, um, I would call this country rock, a little, little freak folk in there, little folk, little country rock, some Americana, but... Really good Holy Modal Rounder album. And last but not least, uh, I've been really getting into Ian Matthews, Southern Comfort. And this is uh, later that same year. This is probably my favorite Ian Matthews, uh, Southern Comfort album. There's There was like four or five of them. This is on Decca Records. 
But again, if you like uh, if you like the Eagles, like I do, I mean, I know people give the Eagles crap, but I, I love the Eagles. I love the harmonies. I love the uh, the melodies. Love the chord changes. Love their music. Um, I'm not a big fan of like the long run, but everything before the long run, pff, love it out of the park. But this is uh, very similar. Really good harmonies. I love Ian Matthews' vocals. Fantastic vocals. Of course, you probably know who this guy is. He was um, part of this band here. Now, he wasn't on this album, but the Fairport Convention. He was on the first two Fairports. He wasn't on this one, but um, Ian Matthews is from that band. He kind of uh, went solo and formed the Southern Comfort. And he didn't look back. Uh, really good country rock, uh, folk, Americana. Let me show you a few others from him uh, in his band. Let's see if I can grab them here. Ah, there they all are. There's a whole bunch here. All right. Let's see. I'll show you all of them. Well, not all of them. I got a few others. But this is his first one. It's on uh, a gatefold. My goodness. Um, Ian Matthews, Southern Comfort. Just a self-title and that's on Decca. I don't know why this stuff slips all right next on vertigo got the vertigo swirl which is really cool it's um embossed but really cool um this one's ian matthews tigers will survive this is uh, a lot of people's favorite ian matthews album um, I love it, but it's not my favorite from them. But it's on that cool Vertigo Swirl. Can't go wrong there. This is also on the Vertigo Swirl. This is Ian Matthews, If You Saw, Throw My Eyes. All these I'm showing you are like countryish folk with great, 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 great harmonies. Really good harmonies. Uh, these are all early 70s. Um, Matthews, Southern Comfort, Second Spring, probably... My second favorite, Southern Comfort on Decca. Love the cover on that. Love that scene. Really good stuff. And my favorite, one of my favorite Ian Matthews is Valley High. This one's from 73. This here from front to back is just solid all the way through. There's not a single duffer on this. Really cool photo of Ian. Or Lane, I'm not sure how he goes. There you go. And then, last but not least, some days you eat the bear. This is a, I think this was UK only, I want to say. No, no, sorry. This is a US press. These are all originals, I'm showing you. There you go. This has got a really cool, like, um, textured sleeve. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's pretty cool. But this one here, again, it's, it's got that folky country sound, but has a little more pop elements mixed in. So, but there you have it. Uh, that is my uh, Americana Cosmic Country, early 70s Cosmic Country Americana Part 2. Uh, I'll do a Part 3 and a 4 and a 5. I got enough of this stuff to show you several more, so we'll, uh, we'll get some more of that content out. Also, um... I've got more Guided by Voices and Guided by Voices related coming, some more Acid Archives coming, more Psych. Um, I still got to do Post Punk, as promised. Uh, I got a lot of 90s indie I want to go through and show you guys as well uh, and share that with you. And then I want to do some states. I'm thinking like I'll, I'll showcase a few states. Like uh, I'll start with Ohio. I'm not from Ohio, but um, some of my favorite bands are in Ohio, so, or we're from Ohio. So I'll do Ohio, I'll do Massachusetts, I'll I'll showcase like states and the music that comes from it and the bands that come from certain states. So that'll be fun and we'll do a little of that as well. But hey, thanks for watching everyone on this Saturday. Please hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing. More content to follow. Appreciate everyone. Take care.